Services that thousands of veterans use on the lakeshore might not be offered anymore at a West Michigan Veterans Affairs office. Tonight, VA's director says it all depends on a critical public vote that is now less than two weeks away. 13 on your side's Amr Voss joins us now to explain more. Amr? Yeah, the Muskegon County VA's upcoming millage vote is one of their only sources of funding. Tonight, the organization says their survival will allow them to keep helping more than 10,000 West Michigan veterans. I mean, it's important to be able to to be able to give back, give what we can back to them. Each one of these pins represents where a Muskegon County veteran was stationed during Vietnam. For all those men and women who have given, who have written the blank check, that they will pay up to the price of their life for our freedom. But the county's VA director says their survival is hinging on an upcoming vote to renew the veterans millage. Would the county VA be at risk to losing some of the services they provide? We would be at risk at losing some and potentially all. Uh, there would be no there would be no funding for this department to exist. According to Bow, the Muskegon County VA helped more than 3,000 veterans last year with counseling, food bank assistance, and how to file claims on the federal level for health care and compensation. There's a lot of uh, veterans, again, that come through here. Probably close to 100 and between 150 and 200 a month are just here for claims purposes. The veterans tax would cost the owner of a $100,000 home $3.85 per year. It would raise more than $300,000 for the county VA. Everything that we do here is life changing and, and at a very low cost to a very uh, worthy population. And voters in Muskegon County will decide on the veterans millage when they head to the polls on August 6th. Juliet. Armour.